Here she comes. <laughs> Jesus, so sweet. <laughs> wow. I have to break it. I did not expect that to happen. <laughs> A very good morning from the Scottish Highlands and my road trip around the NC500 in Scotland. It has been incredible so far and today I don't think it's going to be any exception to the rule. I've made it to Ben A National Park, that's what you can see behind me here. It is absolutely stunning. About 20-25 minutes drive from Gairlock which is where I left and I am heading today for the Apple Cross Pass. But this area around Torridon and Shieldag is known for its stunning beauty and incredible landscapes. So that's what I want to pick up as much as I can on the video today. I'm about to go back to the car and head for a viewpoint overlooking Loch Marie. <laughs> Made it up the hill slightly to the Glen Doherty viewpoint. This is a fairly famous viewpoint that looks down the valley. There's the road that I just travelled up here on and Lake Marie or Mari down there at the bottom. Kind of perched at the moment on top of a, an old rickety wooden ladder that goes over a fence. It's like a stream running just behind me. That's probably what you can hear. All right, so I think the plan now is to head back down the valley there and then take a left, head off to Shieldag, and then take a scenic route down to Applecross. here every month to feed him. Do you really? Every yeah. month? There is, oh, a, there is a guy, he found him three years ago and he said he lives in the area, his name is Callum, 
and he's 13 years old. He's, he's every day. If he's not here, I'm usually shouting at him and he's just running down the hill like a puppy. Wow. All the Scottish people are friendly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Even very friendly. <laughs> It really does get the imagination going to wonder just who may have lived here centuries ago in the middle of nowhere really right close to the river probably lived for generations perhaps in here these stones sheltering them from the harsh winters and the winds and the cold the storms that would have passed through no doubt they would have lived from the land right close to this beautiful river probably the same as what it would have been all those years ago but what a view as well look at that stopped at a viewpoint for a spot of lunch got some of my rolls apple pies I got an apple chocolate bars Fanta also had some crisps I got my devices on charge it's a GoPro and uh, got to say the Dacia Duster has served me very very well it's a really good car I like it this console in the middle here has helped me out no no end the navigation on here is brilliant you can easily choose where you want to go even uh, my favorite function is find on the map you can literally just tell it where you want to go if it doesn't register a town or a village or anywhere like that the other GoPro my new GoPro is still on the front of the car and this is the view for lunch beautiful scenery I am going to head now for Shieldag and then take the scenic loop around towards Applecroft. Made it to Apple Cross. Well, it's actually a place called Shore Street or the street, but most people refer to it as Apple Cross. And I'll turn around and show you in just a second, but having a torrid time trying to get some footing here. Okay, let's just make it over to here. There we go. All right. So, as I was saying, this is the Apple Cross Peninsula. I've driven across the north and then down the west of the peninsula and this is the row of tiny white houses and cottages as i said that are actually called shore street not apple cross but it is home to the apple cross inn
All right, loads of people sitting outside the Apple Crossing. Just heading now back towards the car and I'm gonna have to head back towards Inverness now. And I'm gonna do that via a road called the Balak Nebar. One of the most famous and treacherous roads here in Scotland. Goes to an altitude of 626 meters. That's over 2000 feet. Gradients of 20% and very, very windy and twisty. So let's go check it out. the famous hairpin bends single track carriageway and descent of the Balak Nabar. This has got to be the most famous part of the NC500 and it heads off down there towards the lock and what an incredible road. It is engineered very similar to the roads of the Alps with these hairpin bends and steep gradients in winter time it can become impassable up here we're over 2,000 feet but i'm glad i drove it and there is just incredible landscapes all around you can just about make out the scottish islands just peeking above the sea there some locks here on top of the mountains it's pretty cool and as i come around again there's that amazing road. It is the third highest road in Scotland, but it is the steepest road in the whole of the UK. Right, I'm about to get in the car and drive it, and I am going down into the valley. A ride up and then down the Balak Nabar here on the Apple Cross Peninsula of Scotland and almost a grand finale to my incredible drive around the Highlands my epic seven or eight day exploration of the NC 500 it has been amazing it's not quite over yet I'm currently in small town of Lockcarron and this is a town that has a population of around about 900 people it's two miles long along the shore here of Loch Carron but it has this beautiful little street of white houses that line the shore really really pretty especially when the sun's shining on them and I'm currently on an island as well which I didn't realize when I got here but if you look over the back here you can see first of all the lock is over there this is all mudland at the moment with boats just sitting upon it and then over here you can see a pretty little house with a pier that comes out into what would usually be the water of the lock 
right as i said my road trip is nearly over one video left to make and that'll be tonight hopefully in inverness if i get back there in this video though i'm going to take you back to the hotel where i'm staying just to show you around it's just outside of inverness and i'll tell you how much it costs to stay there and you can see what it's like for yourself when i get there so that'll be where this video ends but check out my next video because i will be exploring inverness and also check out the rest of my videos in this series if you haven't had chance yet because it has been amazing. Just like that, I am at a place called the Muir of Ord, about 20 minutes from Inverness, which is handy for the airport tomorrow, even though the airport is the other side, so it's probably about 40 minutes from there, but still, great location. This is the room I got. It is the old Ord Hotel. Shared bathroom, which is just up the corridor. Looks really clean and a good size. Two single beds, a desk, a wardrobe, a kettle with some coffee, which I'll be helping myself to in a minute. And uh, this hotel has cost me £44 for the night. So I think that's a bit of a bargain. Happy with that. And uh, another good hotel here in Scotland. Right, well, that is going to do it for the video today. Again, thanks very much for watching. Good night.